I'm an only child. My parents gave me a lot of support. I would build things all over the place. I used to come up with an idea on Friday, and on Saturday I would go to the surplus houses and buy what I needed and then build it uh, for the rest of the weekend. At the time, I thought it was physics. There were no engineers anywhere in my horizon, so I had no way to know that it was, in fact, engineering that I was doing. Uh, what we're looking at is uh, what we call uh, creatively our alpha machine. So it wasn't actually our first machine, but it was our first uh, real machine. What you see here is the build platform and then a spreading roller, and these were IR lamps. And back here is the inkjet printhead. I've spent uh, the industrial part of my career primarily in two industries. One, uh, of course, is 3D printing. The other is photovoltaics, uh, that is solar cells. Each set of experiences gave me more tools for the next stage in the other era. I did my PhD thesis on this method of making thin wafers for making solar cells. And uh, through that, I became uh, familiar with the manufacture of integrated circuits. Integrated circuits are made in layers. You design them in layers, and that provided a high degree of decoupling between designing and manufacturing. And that, of course, is exactly the idea underlying making parts in layers or any other techniques that are a part of 3D printing. So these parts here were some of our very earliest 3D printed parts. Actually, this is the first application uh, that we thought about even in our first patent application. So our very first effort was just to show that you could build layers. Ellie and I have known each other for a long time. I was an investor in his solar, uh, one of his solar companies. He's uh, one of the inventors of the 3D printing process and a key contributor to our industry. He was winding up with his previous endeavor and uh, we teamed up to sort of try to make something magical. Well, I think when we started, we knew that metal 3D printing was gonna be the genesis of what became our production system. Desktop Metal was founded in 2015 to democratize metal 3D printing, to make metal 3D printing accessible to any and all industries. We're entering a new era for this market, particularly focused towards mass production. 3D printing is one of many technologies that will contribute to the production systems of the future. I have to give a shout out to Ellie Sachs, who ushered in this technology with his original innovation with 3D printing, coining the term 3D printing. Building on that innovation, we now have advanced 3D printing methods like BinderJet technology, which opens up the possibility to 3D print at much higher speeds and at much larger scale. The reason I was so focused on it being scalable was because you're not going to be able to have a major impact on design unless you can also manufacture the parts by that technology. Ellie has uh, created a really powerful legacy in 3D printing and solar technology and other places, but maybe even more important is the, the legacy he's created by inspiring and, and teaching so many amazing people at MIT. He has a real passion for engineering education, and he's leading a, essentially a movement to rethink how we educate our students. He is a well-respected professor. He's a mentor to so many different uh, mechanical engineering students that have come through his, his classroom and his labs, and it really resonates well, um, I think, with this new generation of engineers that's coming through. Ellie has had tremendous impact building up the 3D printing research at MIT. And then today you can see what Desktop Metal is doing using his core technology. So his contributions were not just in that moment in time, but they continue to have a tremendous impact in the industry. Looking back on the many achievements in his career, including in 3D printing, you realize the significance of what he's done, both as an academic and as an entrepreneur. He's like the quiet legend of, of manufacturing. Ellie's living the dream of being able to grow and uh, to invent and to create a business. A huge amount of business has been created by uh, 
his ideas. Now it's time for the next uh, ideas to come in uh, to change how we teach people. If I have a legacy, it's, it's through my children. I don't spend a lot of time uh, thinking about what I've accomplished. As soon as I think that something is done well enough that other people can run with it, I'm done. Congratulations, Ellie. I'm not at all surprised. Um, it's uh, about time that you get this sort of acknowledgement for all your amazing contributions. Thank you, Ellie, for inspiring me to work on 3D printing. Ellie, congratulations. Very well deserved. Thank you, Ellie, for everything you've done to invent and drive 3D printing into the future. Congratulations to you. Ellie, it's been an honor working with you, knowing you for you know over a decade and working with you for the past uh, three and a half years. And thank you for everything you've done for us in the industry. Congratulations on this well-deserved award.